it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. I'm going to show you how to do party favors today. A really quick and easy way to kind of make the whole thing, you know, look all together. <laughs> so, um, I bought these on Amazon and oops, if you haven't subscribed, please do. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> all right. So I bought these on Amazon. They come flat. Okay. So you fold them up. It's really easy to fold up really um, my tip is you want to bend wherever there are creases both ways. So that will make putting it together more easily for you. And then they just come in right here. You just pop in the two little pieces. Now, um, I would recommend, so it comes with a plastic, uh, like protective sheet basically. So you need to peel this off. So what I did was I would not recommend what I did, which was, I needed to pre-fold these because I was running out of time. Like I had a lot of things leading up to it. So I couldn't, um, I couldn't wait to, to do it, you know, the day, like I needed to do them in advance basically. So I folded all of these first, kept the protective sheet on there because I thought, oh, I don't want to get them all scratched up because I pre-folded these before I was ready. But you can see what I was just doing. It takes so long to take off the protective sheet. What I would have done differently is I would have just taken off the protective sheet first, then folded it and just kept it waiting. It's okay. I think it's okay. All right. So I bought two sized boxes. This one is just, you know, um, a little cube. You can stick anything in it. Originally, what I had in mind was I was going to do cotton candy in the small one and then the candy apple I bought specifically for the candy apple. It has a hole in it already. The problem is this box was way too big for my candy apple. My candy apple looked like it was scrawny and skinny. So I ended up using this one. So this one does not have a hole. So I recommend you getting a hole puncher <laughs> and I just did this on each one. So in the center, hole punch and then pull this out and you're good. So you open this up, stick your candy apple in and you kind of tilt it towards the hole so that it goes in the hole, but don't push it down all the way because we need to put the side pieces in. So fold the side pieces in and then as you pull this up, that candy apple will straighten itself out and then Um, I made this label right here that says, thank you for coming to my party. I hope it gave you goosebumps. And then it's got like a poison apple right here. So the way I spruce this up is I added a little bow and the sticker. So the sticker will be a design, oh, not, I'm sorry, a Canva tutorial on how to create your own stickers. Um, and I bypassed the whole Cricut because you see, it's just a square. So... I designed it in Canva. I filled it up the eight and a half by 11 sheet. And then I used, used a paper cutter and sliced everything so that I could get a ton of stickers on the whole sheet and then just bypass putting it on the mat, cutting it when it's just a square. So I designed it with a square in mind so that I could skip Cricut. All right. The only other thing is, you know, get, I would do a uh, ribbon on one of them and then measure out, you know, how big is your ribbon, how, you know, uh, so that you can measure it. And then, so this one is, I'm going to cut it right now. It's about 16 inches. So I cut all my ribbon ahead of time. I'm going to put it down like this. And, you know, it just adds to it. It wasn't that long to do. Do 16 inches, tie a little bow, and together, like 30 candy apples, they look stinking cute. So there you go. Add the sticker label and that's it. So you have this beautiful wrapped candy apple that just looks like you spent a ton of money on. Um, the, these apples I bought, like um, they come in a case of 24 and I bought it without the case because the case that it comes with, uh, if you've seen them at the market, it's kind of like circular and then the stick, a little piece comes out. It just looks really ugly. This box is to me like very elegant, right? Like it's like a wedding party favor. So that's how I spruced it up. All right. That's all I have for you. 
tune in on the next one. I'm going to show you how to do the candy apple. I also did the mylar balloons. So this is all a whole goosebump scary theme. So there's going to be popcorn, uh, cotton candy, candy apple, and mylar balloons. And I hope that breaking it out separately helps you find the one that you want with the right descriptions and the links to the materials from Amazon. All right. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.